All right, so once we do that, we now have to do edge placement. Because by edge placement, we'll truly have converted it into a one, two, three, by one, two, three, by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A three by three by eight, which we can do sequentially as three by three by twos. So to do edge placement, there's going to be the top edge, which is done very similarly to center placement. I see two reds and a yellow. So two reds and a yellow. Red and yellow is right over here. So what I'm going to do is double turn this here, move this across. Now what I'm going to do is it doesn't really matter how much of these I put out as long as it's within the same plane. So I'm going to double turn this over here and that puts this here. So now I'm going to take this out of the workspace by turning it here. One in. So I'm going to turn this over here, double turn and move it back. Now before moving all these back in, I strategically kept this here because this is yellow, yellow, orange. So where's the other yellow and orange? So I can put that in and it's right over here on the wrong side. Now I could flip it like this and bring it in. It's gonna mess these up, but that really doesn't matter. I don't have to make too much of that at this point. So now this is in. So now what I wanna do is I wanna move this out of my workspace here. So I'm going to move this over to here. Double turn and move it back. So now what I have is if I can just get the blue, uh, yellow, blue, yellow, find a blue, yellow over here. And that is right over here. So we're just going to turn this in, turn this here. Double turn. And move it back. Okay, once I have that, now I find the middle again. It's right over here. So double turn and bang. So this is in. Now we move this out of the way, out of the workspace. So once again, we're going to try to find what we need here, green and orange, which is right here, green and yellow rather, turn this here, double turn it and bring it in. Okay, so now we have all the oranges, all, all the yellows rather. Let's move this out of the workspace. This is already filled with red. This is filled with blue. So we'll turn turn and turn it back. Okay, now how do we get this back in place? Well, this is gonna be a similar form of what we've done. I'm, I'm really not doing anything different from what we've done in the past. But basically, I want this whole blue one to come over to here, and that's where this is. But how do I do that without messing this up? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna once again line this to where this is in the same plane as this. It's the same color. Because if I move it like this, I've really not changed this configuration at all nor this, but I've actually matched it up to where I have one out, one out, one out, and one out. So now all I have to do is double turn this like this, and now they're all lined up over here. So it's the same kind of concept, bang. Okay, so now I've got all the yellow edges, and I'm just gonna put them in now. So I'm gonna get my cross, so to speak. Move this here, turn this here, Let's turn over here, turn, 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 and turn. Now the strategy that I'm using here is actually just a higher order version of this. There's really no difference in content. And just like that, what I need to do now is I need to get the white edges. Now how am I going to do that? I can't keep going back and forth because I can't, I don't have the luxury of turning like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna revert to cuboid strategy by doing corner swaps and uh, edge swaps. And the way that I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna look at this as this is an edge and these two are corners. 
And the way that you do this with, uh, with a domino um, strategy, because that's kind of what we're reverting to at this point, is we look to see which corners are in on both sides. Well, not this, not this, not this, but this. Inevitably, when you see that, this goes to the left and you do an adjacent corner swap. And that corner swap will take the green one, which I predict is going to be here. Don't even have to look at it to know why, because there's no parity with this puzzle. And there it is. This green will come here, this red will come here. And as such, these guys are going to flip-flop as well. So it's, that's, that's going to work. This has that no parity. So just like three... Just like odd layer cubes, such as 3 by 3 by 3s 5 by 5 by 5s don't display parity, cuboids that are non-shape-shifting, non-shape-shifting cuboids of the flavor of n by n by n plus o or n by n plus o by n plus o do not display parity issues. It's always going to be where it needs to be. So using this as the entire corner, I'm going to do an adjacent corner swap where both of these are, are placed, basically. So that's 2R u 2r ui 2r this layer turns with a ui and this layer turns with a u and then we finish it up with uh, just the opposite 2r ui 2r u and 2R. Okay, and this is moved back. So that served my purpose. In, 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 in. Not only did it serve my purpose, but I accidentally put in all the edges. These edges, if they were not placed, you just do adjacent edge swaps. You can see actually even the cross is there. So now we've got all the edges. Um, we've got the entire area here. So now I've reduced this to a three layer at this side and a three layer at this side. Now I just need to start putting in sequential three by three by two solves. And that's really all it is at this point. So what I'm gonna do is as I'm doing my three by three by two solves, I'm gonna start in the middle and work my way out. So these two, then these two, then these two, then these two. You just have to know your complementary layers. So here, the way that you do it is you start to swap from the top to the bottom and then you place everything over here and right here. Now this is the correct blue and orange because when this swaps down to here, it inverts. So this blue will come here, this orange will come here. So I go like 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R, and we're good. Green and red, here's the orange and green by the way, and this is the correct one, green and red. Nope, actually it's not the right one. So find the other one, this is the correct one. 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R. So this is correct. We just have this one to go, red and blue. Not this one, doesn't belong here. It's this one. 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R. Okay, so this layer is now solved. This layer has to be placed by first putting the corners in. So which corners have both in? Not this one, this one, not this one. Now, you will never get a situation where you have two that are in and two that are out. You won't get that. But you might get that with uh, shape-shifting, with the floppy uh, cuboids. Not the shape-shifting versions, but with the floppy uh, versions. That, in essence, is what the parity, the floppy parity is going to be. So, but you're not going to get that with the dominoes. You will get that with the floppies, though. So turn this to the right, and then we do the algorithm. With this is R, so to R, U, to R, U, I, to R. This turns here. This turns here. I guess it just could turn the puzzle. 2R, UI, 2R, U, 2R. And this moves back. So as promised, all these are in. But in this case, the edges didn't happen to come, um, uh, didn't happen to be placed. It's the same algorithm that I used up here. That's a good thing about these puzzles is I don't use different algorithms. It's the same each time. So put place the corners where they're supposed to be, and now it's a matter of swapping edges. This collectively is now an edge, which will swap with this. And that algorithm, as you recall, is 2R, U, 2R, U, 2R, 2U, 2R, 2U, 
2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R. So this is good, this is good. And now we just swap these two. 2R, two U, 2R, U, 2R, 2U, 2R, 2U, 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R. Okay, so we have our center here. So now what we're going to do is we move our 3 by 3 by 2 solve to these layers. But there's a difference now. As I'm doing swaps, I'm going to start creating placement issues along the side of the center, which might start to create, it's not really a parity, it's really more of a placement issue, but the algorithm is something that can be used for different parities. So we have to remember now we're going to do this bottom with this top layer as the complementary layer to place things from here to here. So this is already in. So orange here, green here. So 2R, now this is our U from here, U, 2R, UI, 2R. So this is in, but we created placement issues of the layer that we just did. So now we have to hold it here. I can't just turn it like this. I have to turn it like this. This is already in, red and blue, which is right here, red and blue. Now when I do it again, this will be placed back. 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R. This is placed back, this is placed in. So what do we have left? Now I have this, blue and orange. Here? No. Here. So this is good. 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R. So this is in, this layer is in, we have placement issues here. We don't worry about that. There are parity algorithms to get out of this, but we're not going to worry about that. That parity algorithm will become very important at the last uh, step of the bricks. So over here, where do we have our two corners in? Right over here. So let's, let's keep this as our base of operations, where we have the placement issues on the previous layer that we did. Move this to the right, and then do a corner swap. I know red is here. See? Right here. Don't even have to look because there is no parity with this. 2R, U. 2R, UI, 2R. Now in this case, I can't turn the whole puzzle, just the layers I'm dealing with. Turn this here, turn this here. 2R, UI, 2R, U, 2R. This turns back. And now everything is in, in terms of corners. Move this here, and then we start doing our corner swapping. So this will swap with this. Now all edge swapping, not corner swapping, all edge swapping, whether it's opposite or adjacent, will cause placement issues here. So we're about to get this back. 2R, U, 2R, U, 2R, 2U, 2R, 2U, 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R. So that's all fine. So this is good. This is not good. Good, good. So now these two just need to do an opposite edge swap. 2R, 2U. 2R, 2U, 2R, 2U. Now, we finished these two layers, but unfortunately, we were out of sync with these two layers, and we created placement issues here. So this is where we could put this in. We could just skip it and keep moving, or we can just put this in. Let's go ahead and put this in. Using the parity algorithm, holding it here so that one is to the right, the other is to the left. And what you do with this is you go 2U, 2R, 2F, Split it again, just below where the parity is, 2U. Then split it just above the parity, 2U. Then 2F, 2R, 2U. And that'll bring you right back. So now, this whole thing is collectively the center. Now I just do it with these. So once again, orange and green. Find an orange and green. Here, nope. Wrong side. This is the correct one over here. 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R. That's good. Entire placement issues over here. So we move it on. Green and red. Right over here. Green and red. 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R. Placement issue has been taken care of. And we put that in. That's good. So now this one. 
two corners, no, two corners, no, two corners, no, two corners, no. So when that happens, you just pick randomly any side and do a corner swap. Something's going to come in from there. So now we look and we see, bang, we've got this over here. This is turned to the left and now we do a corner swap. Blue's going to be here because I know this is here and there is no parity. 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R, turn, turn, a little sympathetic turning there, 2R, UI, 2R, U, 2R, take it back. So now I know that all of these are fine and they're all opposite edge swaps. So 2R, 2U, 2R, 2U, 2R, 2U, creates placement issues here, move this here to swap these two, 2R, 2U, 2R, 2U, 2R, 2U. So now we have done exactly what I wanted to do. We have converted this to a true 3 by 3 by 2 with a little center in here or a big center in here. So now we have the benefit of the top to guide us. So this is going to come down to here, 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R. This is in here, big old placement issue here. So we keep it coordinated to that. Move this here, blue and red, and orange, which is right here. So move this in. 2R, U, 2R, UI, 2R. Okay, so this is all in. We have placement issues here. We have two corners, two corners, two corners. So we just so happen to have all the corners in. So now we just do our swaps. So this is um, adjacent edge swap here. 2R, U, 2R, U, 2R, 2U, 2R, 2U, 2R, U, 2R, UI, and 2R. Okay. Are we done? We're done. We did it. Now, that's how you basically deal with the three, a uh, higher order 3x3x2, three by three by basically, is, is how to reduce that. And that's the basic strategy as we look at this family of puzzles, family of cubes, reducing it to 3x3x2, three by three by basically with the form of a n by n plus o by n plus o, or n by n by n plus o. And that's these guys over here. Next, we're going to tackle the uh, shape-shifting cuboids by this five, whoa, five by five by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, five by five by nine. That'll come next, and I'll show you the slightly different strategies with this and uh, the other one. Thanks for watching.